Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Well, today we're gonna do something fun. Um, actually, I have a friend also with the One Series um, who met me through YouTube. And uh, he has a 116D remap to about 190 horsepower and 400 Newton meters of torque. And he has an automatic. And uh, we want to see which one has the fastest car because mine is a little bit lighter, um, has more horsepower, but his has more torque and is an automatic. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty curious how it's gonna work out. And he's also bringing a friend who has a, a four series, a two liter diesel. So about the same engine as he, he's got. And he also wants to uh, do a little pill next to me. So I'm pretty curious. Um, I'm actually, I think I have a very big chance of winning. Um, but you know, it's still, uh, it's an automatic versus a manual and they have more torque. So we'll see, but it's going to be fun anyway. So we're coming to my house. Uh, they can arrive any moment and then we're going to see. Uh, so yeah, pretty excited. So they have arrived and we are on our way to our private road. And in front of me is uh, the first guy, he has a 420D, 190 horsepower. And here uh, behind me there's also a 116D remap to 190 horsepower. So it's pretty uh, pretty curious how it's going to end. They have both automatics, I have a manual. So uh, let's see. I'm very, very curious how it's going to uh, work out. So we raced them both and um, I've won uh, from everyone. Um, I'm gonna, gonna tell it very quickly because I don't have the best footage. Uh, so I'm gonna explain very quickly. First I raced against the 420D uh, convertible and uh, he was also an automatic and I raced him and I was clearly faster. There was actually no, you know, matching them um, as you can see I was clearly the fastest car there was a very big difference in there um, so I, I've beat him and then I raced against the 116D and that was actually a very close call I could you know film it because they were you know every time they were driving on the right from me so I I only have this area to film and I you know I'm not drag racing and filming at the same time because that's just impossible uh, I don't have a glass roof, so I can't attach my phone anywhere, then, which sucks a little bit. Uh, but anyway, um, the 116D was very, very close. Um, I didn't have my best launch, and I only raced him once. Um, but long story short, we, we launched, and he was just like a little bit ahead of me, but just like, you know, 10, 20 centimeters, really not that much. And because I have very long gears, I stayed in first gear longer, and then I went to second. And once I was in second gear, I caught up with him. And at the end of second gear, I was actually in front of him. And then I, I shifted to third gear, and then I was just gone. Uh, but not really, like, really fast gone, but I was walking away very slowly from him. But uh, it was clearly that I was faster. But to be honest, the, the difference was pretty small actually, uh, because he's down a good 30, 35 horsepower from me. Um, but yet he has more torque and he has an automatic. Um, but still I was a faster car, but I was only faster because I can shift very good with this car. I can, you know, use it to its max potential. And I had about 30 35 horsepower more which really made the difference because otherwise uh, I would have no chance if I only had 190 horsepower like he did then I had absolutely no chance of winning but I only won because of the more horsepower and I have a slightly lighter car my car weighs about 50 60 kilograms less uh, but that was actually a very very nice close race it was uh, very very no, it, it was a very very neat um, and then they raced each other and I was like you know after this race we are gone because if someone calls the cops then we're screwed um, so it was very simple they raced each other and I'm gonna show that clip right now um, the 116D won of course 
uh, against a 320 uh, d and I drove behind them and actually catched up the, the 420D also. So he wasn't that happy with it. He could still laugh with it, but uh, yeah, he, he lost pretty clearly, but he has a full option 420D convertible. So he shouldn't be complaining really. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm gonna show the clip. So yeah, as you could see, the 116D, I couldn't, you know, catch him in because I actually started later and I didn't do a launch, but the 420D was clearly slower. He also had 190 horsepower, but he was clearly the slower car because he, you know, he was 30 horsepower down and he, he weighs 250 kilograms more. So that difference is just too big for him to overcome with only an automatic. Uh, but like I said, the 116D, if I did like a rolling race with them on the highway, you know, boat locked in third gear doing 120 kilometers an hour and then we're gonna do a pull, then I, I would have been faster, but I think just on, on the road, not going above 100 kilometers an hour, I think we're about the same actually. Um, and he has a convenience of being an automatic, so he actually never has a bad shift. If I do a bad shift or I do, you know, I do yeah, like I do a bad shift or I shift too early or too late then then he's faster and his automatic will never uh, do a bad shift so actually in real world real world usage he's maybe be a little bit faster um, on just on a normal road but if you're not very good at shifting yourself his automatic would be faster as mine uh, but anyway guys it's you know it's this is way more fun um, but anyways I'm gonna leave it for what it is today I hope you guys liked the video anyway and if you did you can always leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys very very soon bye